It says danger genetic material enclosed, but of course you, you can't believe everything you read these days, can you? Let's see what I've got in here. Oh, reject, I'd forgotten about that one. I'll, I'll pop that on one side. Um, I've got some cards here, they say clone subject on the back, and uh, there are some which of course are, are unprinted. I'll come back to the printed cards in a moment, I'll just show you these first. And these look like pieces of blank playing card, as you can see. But in actual fact, these are cloning plates. And these have been made exactly the same size as um, these printed cards here, you see. So if I put those on, you can see that it's the same width, the same length, and that allows a, a certain amount of interaction to take place. So I'll, I'll show you these printed cards. You've probably heard of Dolly the sheep. That's, that's Molly, my brother. And various animals here. We might uh, do some cloning in a moment. And, um, and don't forget, I sh these are actually treated on both sides with a special um, protoplasmic substance which allows the cloning to actually take place. Um, would you name one of these animals for me and that's the one I'll actually clone first? It's your choice. The snake. The snake, okay, watch closely. We uh, just rub that on the front here and then we rub it on the back just to transfer a bit of DNA. We'll leave that one face down so we know we've done that. I squeeze the air out of the plates, a little snap, and uh, as you can see, we've actually got a, a perfect image of the snake here, you see. A perfect cloned representation. Let's put that away, a little shake as the air gets to it, it uh, tends to fade away. And which animal would you like me to clone next? It's your choice. The sheep. The sheep, okay, Molly the sheep here. Uh, it's a little rub here on the front, a little rub on the back to transfer the DNA and then we squeeze the air out of the cloning plates. And then the image actually appears right in the middle of the plates. That's what gets me, it actually appears in the middle here, you see. There it is, the image of the sheep, perfectly cloned. It's a little shake and uh, it just seems to fade away. Uh, the penguin or the lion, it's your choice. The lion. The lion, watch, okay, watch. A little rub here at the front, a little rub on the back to change the DNA. That's just squeeze the air out of the plates and the image actually appears right in the center here. That gets me that, but it appears in the center. Okay, there's a little cut in the air and it just seems to fade away. Now, as the last animal, would you prefer either the penguin or the penguin? It's your choice. The penguin. Good choice, watch. Just a little rub on the front here, a little rub on the back. We've done that one here. We squeeze the air out of here. And the penguin appears, the image of the penguin appears right in the center of the plates like that. So I've actually managed to clone these animals in the order that you select a little shake and it just seems to fade away here. You can just actually see it fading away in the corner here if, you, if you're quick. So that leaves us as we started with these cloning plates which are completely blank on this side and of course they are also completely blank on this side which just goes to show that uh, this cloning is perfectly safe. There's, there's nothing can go wrong. Um, oh, did I say nothing? Huh. Maybe these experiments are not so safe. And if you think that was bad, we did have the reject last week. That was very embarrassing because the animal turned out to be a mixture of all four. But hopefully, <laughs> we don't have to worry about this because we're not going to clone you. And that was cloned.